What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another full tutorial on the latest updates of LSPDFR, Script Hook V, Simple Trainer, and Rage Plugin. I'm doing them all at once guys, doing a fresh install. Uh, so if you would join me here, this is going to be a long video, I'm going to lead you through every step. If you guys happen to hear a little bit of toys in the background rattling or a, or a baby laughing, that's my that's my seven month old baby girl. She's right here beside me. So, uh, anyways, just want to let you guys make you guys aware of that. God bless you guys. God bless America, and God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. All right, guys, let's get on with this. So the first thing that we are going to do, and as always, all the links are below. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to locate your GT your GTA Five folder. In other words, where you installed your GTA Five at now. Keep in mind, guys, that right up here where it says quick access, see that? As I said before, this is going to be your lifeline to everything you install on LSPDFR, okay? Everything. All right? Now, your GTA 5 may be on a different hard drive than mine, but it's going to be the same pathway. Unless you have the CD version, then it might be a different pathway. But in this, the Steam version... Mine's going to be this PC, and then you're going to go to the drive that your GTA 5 is installed on. You see where mine is. Then you're going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and here's your GTA 5. Now, if you notice, guys, again, I went ahead and made a copy, okay? <clears throat> and for those of you watching this for the first time and you don't know how to do this, this is how you make your copy, okay? See where it says Grand Theft Auto V? Just that one. You're going to left click and highlight it. Right click. Go down. Click copy. And then you're going to go under here. In this blank area. Right click. And hit paste. Now keep in mind when you do this. You might want to get up and go get you something to eat. Get you something to drink. It's going to take a bit for it to, to finish copying. Because that's thousands of files guys. Thousands of files being copied and pasted. Okay. So it's going to take a bit, but once that's done, okay, you're going to come. It's going to. It's, you're going to have this. After it's done, you're going to have Grand Theft Auto Five, and Grand Theft Auto Five, copy. Okay. Now keep in mind, I can't stress this enough. Okay, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure that all your LSPDFR files go into the file that says Grand Theft Auto Five, not the copy. Okay. This one right here, Grand Theft Auto 5, that's where all your LSPDFR files and mods, your callouts, your plugins, everything is going to go, okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to show you that this is a clean version of GTA 5, see? No LSPDFR, no mods, no nothing, okay? It's just straight up GTA 5. Now, this is for the 1737 version of GTA 5, okay? And the version uh, 0 0.4.3 of LSPDFR. And the Simple Trainer is version 9.9. .9. And the Rage Plugin is version 1.68. Okay. Uh, Script Hook V, if I didn't say that, is also version 1737. Okay. Now, what you're going to do next, guys, you're going to go to this Grand Theft Auto 5 right here. You're going to highlight it. And you're going to right click. And you're going to send this to your desktop. Okay. Just like that. See how it popped on my desktop? Because I'm cool like that. Anyway, you're safe to close out of that. Go to right here, and you're gonna want to grab that. You're gonna want to grab this and pull it into your file explorer like that. And when it says pin to file explorer, just drop it, okay? And it'll be in there. Now, the reason I tell you guys to do this, I didn't really explain this last time. The reason I tell you to do this is because this is easy access to your GTA 5 folder. You know what I'm saying? It keeps you from going through the your hard drive and then the Steam library, Steam apps, common. You know, it just avoids all that. So you click on that. Here's your folder right here, the one we just looked at. So here's the pathway, guys. This PC, the hard drive you installed it on, Steam Library, Steam Maps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Now this way you know that you do have the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sling this over this way. All right, I want to make sure that I'm remembering to do every single thing right. Uh, guys, I do want to... Note this, okay? Note this, please. Make sure before we start anything here, before we do any kind of installs, 
make sure you go ahead and turn off your antivirus, your firewall, okay? Turn all your, just de just deactivate your antivirus, just turn it off, okay? Because I keep forgetting to say that, and people are having problems with their game crashing, and I'm like, duh, that's why I didn't tell nobody. So, I do apologize for not telling you guys that previously, but go ahead right now and shut off all your antivirus, okay? And you know what? I'm going to do the same. All right, so mine is uh, Windows Defender. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shut all mine off. Let me go back. So if you have Windows Defender Firewall, this is how you're going to shut it off. You've seen the way I'm doing it? It's right here in Firewall and Network Protection. Okay? You just click all these right here. Click off. Click yes on all of them. Go back to it. And then before you know it, everything is turned off. See that? All right. Now that we got that done. Oh, I didn't mean to we'll exit out. Okay. Now, here comes the fun stuff, guys. The fun stuff. Okay? Now, the first thing you're going to do is below in the description you're going to see where it says LSPFR mod. Right under that you're going to click that link, okay? So go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, it's going to bring you to this page, all right? It's going to say LSPD first response 0 0.4.3 build 7147. This is the newest and most recently updated LSPFR guys and girls, okay? This was the one we was waiting on and we finally got it, thank God, huh? All right, you guys want to go ahead and read this stuff, you can. It's completely up to you. You want to look at the screenshots. It's all there. Uh, but what you really need to do mainly is just go right here and click this little green box that says download this file. Just click that. Now, before you click anything else, just remember, uh, you can always read the, the license agreement and all that if you want to. But really, basically, all I got to do is scroll down and click agree and download, okay? Now, hold up just one minute. Don't click nothing. Nothing, Okay. Guys, there's two of these here. You see that a manual and an automatic, okay? We don't want the automatic set up. I always do manual, and I'm going to tell you why real quickly so we can get on with this. Because I want to know where I'm putting the files. That way, if I go back, I know where they are. If I need to take something out or add something to that folder, I know exactly where to go. This takes practice, guys, and you'll get it down, I promise. If you have any problems, I'll put my Discord below. You can join my Discord. I have tons of people in there right now um, asking uh, for, you know, advice on LSPFR, and I'm helping everybody that I can. I now have an, administer, an, admin, I'm sorry, an administrator in my um, Discord that can help you as well, okay, and the other members in there too. So what you want, guys, is the manual install, LSPFR 043 manual install. Go ahead and click that download right there, all right? And then you're going to give it a minute here, and as always, it'll pop up right in this area. Okay, there we go. Sometimes it takes time, guys. Sorry about that big breath in the mic. So, okay, now, guys, if you got Windows 10, and you want it to go straight to your downloads folder, just click Save. If you want to save it somewhere else, you're going to go up here and click Save As. For example, if you want to put it in your... On your desktop, you just, you just would click right there, and you would click Save. See, there's all my stuff on my desktop right there. You just click Save, and it put it right on your desktop, okay? Now, I've already downloaded it, so you know how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now, the next thing you're going to click is Script Hook V, okay? The new Script Hook V. And that's going to take you to this page, all right? And this is the newest version that was released, July 27, 2019, version 1.0.1737.0, okay? You're going to go ahead and you're going to click this download right here. Not this one, but this one. So go ahead and click that, okay? And then same thing, guys. Save it to your downloads. Save it to your your desktop, wherever you want, okay? Uh, keep in mind, this does, script pick V does not require a wizard. It's just a file. So, um, So once you got that, we're going to go back. You're going to click the Simple Trainer, okay? All right, the link for Simple Trainer. It's going to be version 9.9. .9 and, uh, gosh, let me close up that stuff. That aggravates me. And the Simple Trainer, uh, I've looked at it. You know, I have had it on and uninstalled it. It's pretty cool. They got some new features in there. It's pretty cool. So go ahead and click this download button right here. All right. And we're in GTA5mods.com, which is a cool site. You guys might want to bookmark this page so you can go back for your mods. You can find all kinds of 
uh, emergency vehicles in here, police vehicles, and all that stuff. I found a lot of my police vehicles on GTA 5 mods. Anyway, uh, this is this is um, this is a. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. The uh, trainer. <laughs> I had a brain fart. The trainer. So no no wizard required. You're just gonna save it to your downloads or wherever you want to save it by clicking that button right there, or that button there. Okay. All right. Once you got that, we'll move on to the next step. All right. Rage plug-in hook. This is the version you want right here, guys. This was the first one we done. This is the last one they updated. And this is the most recent update. You always want the most recent updates, guys. The most recent. So it's going to be 1.68. That's your version right now, okay? So go ahead and uh, you're going to click on this right here. Oh, I already did that. My bad. My mistake. And you're going to, as always, click save or save as and save it somewhere else all right guys so once you've got that downloaded you can always pause the video guys because i know i'm going kind of fast but i'm trying to make this video as as quick but as um easy as possible for you guys you know what i'm saying all right so go on to um click the microsoft.net framework 4.6.2 and right here you're going to just select your language all right you're going to click download. Now this, when you, see, okay, this is how you know things usually require a wizard setup is because it has run and save. It'll have run right here. You'll see the run, okay? So you're going to save this, and then if it requires you to use a wizard, go ahead and do it. It's been so long since I've had to download this, guys. I just honestly can't remember, but I'm just telling you just to be on the safe side. If it requires a wizard, then go ahead and do it. So save it. And then run it if it gives you the option to do so after you save it, okay? All right, so once that's done, we're going to move on to C++ Redistributable. All right, guys, you're going to click, same thing, pick your language, click download. Now, pay attention, guys and girls. You want to click this right here and make sure that this is all checked. Now, guys, keep in mind, I didn't mention, but keep in mind that the framework and the C++ Redistributable is only for people that use Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. So Windows 10 users, you don't need this. And if you download the last one, um, I apologize. It's not going to harm your computer. It's not going to make any difference. You're just going to have like a, a short, a second copy of it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, once you go to download it, it'll, it'll tell you whether you have a copy or not. You know, so it'll stop you at that point. Now make sure all these boxes are checked. Hit next, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 right here, guys. All right, you're going to hit save. You're going to hit run, okay? That's how you're going to do that. Now that um, I'm assuming you guys have done that because I know I'm really rushing you guys, but y'all can always pause the video and come back. Last but not least, the most important thing we're going to need is WinRAR, okay? Now, for those of you that don't know, WinRAR is a... It's a it's a program that helps you unzip your folders. So like the LSPFR folder we have downloaded, uh, the script hook V, all that good stuff. That this WinRAR is going to help us unzip those folders because without a WinRAR or some kind of zip folder thing, your uh, zip folder program, you're not going to unzip your folders and it'll just be useless having them. So here's what you're going to do, guys. You're going to set select your language. All right, mine being English, I'm going to show you here. If you have a 32-bit computer and, and your language is English, then you would select 32-bit. If it's 64-bit like mine, you would select English 64-bit, okay? So we're going to click 64-bit, and you're going to run this, and you're going to, I'm sorry, you're going to save this, and you're going to run it. This one does have a wizard. I, I think I know that for sure, okay? All right, so once we're done with that, that's going to be it for those. And we have everything downloaded, I believe. We can close out all those, close them out. And there we go. All right, now, guys, let's get down to business, okay? Get down to business. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to double-click that LSPFR 0.43 right there in the corner, okay? And you guys, with this WinRAR, this is the WinRAR program right here. See that? Um... If your files look like this, then you've successfully installed WinRAR. If they look like these three books with the belt around them, that's what it looks like to me, um, then you've successfully installed WinRAR, okay? So anyway, 
here's what we're going to do. You're going to go to the bottom of this. You're going to click and hold your left click button on your mouse. If I can get mine to work right. I know y'all hear my baby back there. She's, she's a happy baby. You're going to hold down the control key. And you're going to deselect license. Okay, guys? Deselect license. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm going to stress this again. Okay? Do not install these here. And do not install them here or down here. Okay? If you install it here, it's going to launch GTA 5. All right? If you install it here, those folders are just going to suck all them files up and it's going to go into one of those folders and it's all going to be wrong. Okay? And you're going to start all over. So what you want to do is grab these. You're going to left click and hold it down. You're going to pull all these over. You're going you're gonna to drop them right in here. Okay? And it's going to take about a few seconds to finish up. All right? So here we go. It's probably going to ask to replace the files. If it does, and click replace files. All right, so you guys are going to see a big difference here once this, uh, once the LSPDFR folder is installed over here. All right, there we go. Okay, now it's done. Okay, it did not ask to replace any folders, so that's that's a good thing. All right, now guys, everything highlighted in blue is everything you've just installed. So if you look at it and compare it to this over here, everything that's in the WinRAR is now in your GTA 5 directory, okay? See that? All right. And I noticed that you already have a Rage plugin hook installed, but we'll get back to that. Don't mess with that just yet, okay, guys? Now we're going to go up. If you click double click plugins, it's going to show you LSPD first response right here. That shows you that LSPDFR, that LSPDFR is installed right now, okay? You go back, double click LSPDFR. All this right here shows you your audio, uh, your charge, your data, your keys. We're going to get into these keys, guys. I'm going to show you how to change all your controls and everything, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it. We'll come back to this, all right? So don't forget about that. So go back to your main directory. You can close out of that WinRAR, and you can now get rid of that shortcut and delete. Okay, now we're going to open up script hook V. All right, and if you guys remember, if you watched my first tutorial, you're going to click bin, all right? You're going to hold down the control key, and you're going to select script hook v.dll and dinput 8.dll. Now, being the fact we're already installing a trainer, that's why we're not selecting native trainer. Now, if you want the native trainer instead of the simple trainer, that's up to you. But only install one of those because they'll clash with each other, okay? Um, so, anyway, grab this right here where it's on scripthookv.dll. Grab it and pull it in. It'll grab both of them and drop it right here, okay? Now, your scripthookv is installed, okay? See right there where it says 1737? That's the version, guys. We're rocking and rolling this, man. We're rocking and rolling it. All right, so now... You can delete the shortcut. We're done with that. All right, next thing is the simple trainer. Guys, don't buy this program, by the way. You do not have to buy this because I'm going to tell you something. If you buy it, the only thing you're paying for is to get rid of this ad that tells you to buy it. It's free for life, so why, why buy it? You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is simply click out of it. Don't spend 30 bucks on this, guys. You don't have to buy that WinRAR. All right, let me move this over just a tad. All right, guys, same thing as before on um, Simple Trainer. Now, if you're not sure how to install it, you can go to these readmes, and it'll show you how to do all that. Read me right here. But we're going to highlight these bottom two, trainerv.asi, trainerv.ini, okay? You're going to grab them, same thing, pull them over, drop them in your main directory, okay? They are now installed, see that? I'm going to show you guys how to work on this because we're going to go into the game here in a little bit, okay? I'm going to take you guys into the game and show you how everything works. Once we get everything done, so you can close out of that. Delete the shortcut. I like to keep my desktop nice and clean, you know what I'm saying? All right, now last but not least, the most, first and foremost, important thing that you need to run LSPDFR, guys. You're going to double-click Rage Plugin Hook. This is the exciting part because you know you're getting close to playing LSPDFR, okay? 
But we still got a minute to go because we got some things we got to do on here. I want to show you guys step for step. Uh, please don't get impatient with me, guys. Just be patient. I just want to make sure you guys are understanding how this works, okay? Because you got to keep in mind, this is a modded program. You're going to have crashes, guys. Your game is going to crash. You're going to have, you know, you'll be in the middle of chasing somebody, and all of a sudden, boom, LSBFR crashes. It's going to happen. It happens to me. It happens to the, to the to the top YouTubers out there, the guys that, that have the top-of-the-line computers, you know what I'm saying? It happens to them. So be patient with the crashes, guys. If you have problems, come to my Discord or, or, my, or my YouTube, and we'll get you taken care of. We will, somebody in there, myself, my administrator, which is, he's awesome. I love this guy. He's so laid back and chill, man, guys. I got to give a shout-out to him. Uh, my administrator, uh, he is just amazing, dude. And he, I just, I love this guy. He's just so chill. But anyway, uh, shout out to my administrator. Uh, so you're going to select all these right here, okay? Just like that. Sorry, let me do that one more time, guys. Select all these right there. Again, hold down your, your, your control key. Deselect license. Deselect SDK. Okay, guys? Here we go. This is the magic. Left click, pull over, drag in here, drop. Okay, now the destination has 14 files with the same names. Replace the files in the destination? Yes. Replace the files, guys. Do it. Replace them. Okay, now go ahead and close out of your WinRAR and delete the Rage plugin hook there. All right, now. Everything highlighted again has, you know, is what you've installed. But the mo but the number one thing we need to pay attention to, guys, is this right here, okay? And we're going to come back to that in just a minute. I promise you it's for a good reason, okay? A very good reason. So what you're going to want to do, guys, we're going to go back into the file that says LSPDFR. You're going to go down to Keys. Now, this is going to take a minute, okay, guys? Maximize your window for this. All right. So the first thing you want to do, and this is for a good reason. Just trust me, guys, okay? Highlight none, right click, and copy, okay? Because we're going to use that a lot, all right? Now, the pursuit menu key is in. Now, the last time I told you guys, um, it's not really a must to have that. It just helps you terminate pursuits and stuff if you don't want to do it no more. If you guys want to keep that, go ahead. I'm, uh, You know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to keep it that way this time. I'm going to keep it on in. So... Uh, on down to Pursuit Menu Modifier, none. Keep that that way. Don't mess with that. Pursuit Menu Controller, D-pad down. Okay, now, this right here you want to highlight, okay? Because there's only certain things you want on your controller, and I'm going to show you guys how to do all this. Right-click, paste. See how I put none there? Magical, right, guys? All right, so on down uh, to Pursuit Menu Controller Modifier. Keep that as none. Crime Report, key B. Uh, we're going to, let's see, um, yeah, we'll keep that as B. Crime report modifier key, keep that as none. Crime report controller is right thumb. So what that's saying is you can report a crime by holding down the right thumbstick. So if you're chasing somebody, for example, and they're resisting and you know they're going to run, hold down that right thumbstick and what will happen is you'll see a little bar pop up at the bottom right hand side of your screen and the line will start filling up like a load line like like something's loading once it gets to the end it tells the dispatch that you're in a high speed pursuit and they you, they send back and you start calling for backup okay so leave that the same i don't mean to go into this so deep guys but i want you guys to understand what every single thing does okay because i want to share what i know with you and i really want you guys to know this stuff okay all right so we're going to go on down to the one below that, leave it at none, okay? Leave this key at E. I'm gonna try to scan this as fast as I can. Leave this as none. Toggle duty controller key equals D-pad right. All right, uh, leave that at E. Start vehicle selection modifier key, leave that at none. Next one down, leave that at D-pad right. Next one down, leave it at none. Next one down, leave that at E. Next one down, leave that at none. Next one down, stays the same. Next one down, none. Keep it that way, perform frisk. 
Keep it at Q. Uh, perform frisk modifier key. Leave it at none. Frisk controller keypad. D-pad left. Leave that the same. Leave the next one at none. Leave the next one at E. Leave the next one the same. Stop pads control controller key. D-pad right. Yep. Leave that there. Stop pads controller key, uh, key modifier. Leave it at none. Chase abort join key equals G. Okay, guys. You're not going to need this, okay? You're not going to need it, okay? I know my baby girl's back here making some goo-goo and gaga noises, guys, so um, just, I'm sorry for that, but she's, she's a very happy baby. She's like this all the time. Um, okay, so we're going to right-click on that after you highlight it and hit paste to put none because you don't need that. It's really not important to have, guys. Trust me. I wouldn't be telling you that if it wasn't true, all right? So next one down after that is none. Chase abort, join controller key, D-pad left. Uh, let's see, chase, abort, join. We're going to change that to none. So paste it, just like that. And then accept, okay, next one down after that, leave it none. Accept callout, key Y, leave that there. Accept callout modifier key, leave it none. Next one down, leave it D-pad left. Accept callout controller key modifier key equals none. Traffic stop start key equals left shift key. Leave that there. Traffic stop start modifier key. Leave it at none. Traffic stop start controller key equals A. Now change that. Change that to none. Okay? Change that to none. Traffic stop start modifier key equals none. Leave that the same. <clears throat> And we change this to none. We're going to leave that. Um, go ahead and scroll up a little bit, guys. Just keep your eye on wh where we're at there. All right. So traffic stop interact E. Leave that there. Traffic stop interact modifier key. Leave it at none. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Traffic stop interact controller key equals D-pad right. Leave that the same. Next one down. Leave it at none. Next one down. Leave that at E. Next one down, leave that at none. Follow me here, guys. Next one down, leave that at D-pad right. Next one down, leave it at none. Uh, next one down, leave it at E. Next one down, leave it at none. Next one down, leave it at D-pad right. Next, leave that at none. Next, leave that at Q. You want a button that you're going to be able to access your pol police computer, you know, when you get into serious role playing. So, okay, so keep that as Q. Next one, none. Now, right here where it says toggle please computer controller key, you don't want this on your controller because you're going to be using that X button for something, okay? So you're going to highlight that. You're going to go like this and paste it. Okay, guys? See that? Next one down, leave it the same. Next one down, leave that. That's your backup menu on your keyboard. Next one, leave it at none. Backup menu for controller key, right thumb, so you just... Instead of holding your right thumbstick, you click it, it pulls up your backup menu, you can select what kind of backup you want, code 2, code 3, state patrol, local patrol, uh, SWAT team, all that good stuff. That's what that's for, guys. Click it, not hold it, just click it, okay? want to make sure you guys understand what I'm saying. Backup menu, controller, modifier, key, leave it at none. Uh, toggle your siren, your sound, j uh, key equals J. Now, this is not actually going to toggle your siren. What this does is it turns on your lights. Okay, so once I show you guys how to install ELS, that's what that key is for. You'll have a stage one lighting, a stage two, and a stage three. For now, we're just going to have standard GTA 5 police cars because we're just now installing this, okay? We will get into the other stuff later. I'm going to show you guys how to install OpenIV. I'm going to show you guys how to install ELS, player location display, all that good stuff, guys. I'm going to show you how to do it all, okay? That'll be another uh, tutorial, though. Toggle siren sound, leave it at none, uh, leave the next one at none, and leave the next one at none. So guys, we are done. Now, what you want to do, you want to go up here to file, and click it, and click save, okay? Or, you can just click this X, and before, when you click the X, it'll ask you if you want to save, click save then too. You can do it like that too, alright? So let's exit out. Let's go back. Now, remember about the Rage plugin hook right here remember that make sure that's the only thing highlighted guys when you do this okay i cannot stress that enough okay guys so right click you're going to highlight it then you're going to right click and you're going to send this 
to your desktop, okay? Now we're safe to close out of this. Congratulations, guys and girls. You have successfully installed LSPDFR, okay? Now we're almost done with this part. Well, we are done with that part. Okay, now we did install that, right? We did put that in the file explorer. Yes, we did, okay. So guys, you can delete that shortcut right here if you didn't already, the Grand Theft Auto 5 shortcut. Right click and delete it, it'll just leave off the front of your desktop there. Now, Rage Plugin Hook shortcut, okay? You're gonna grab this just like you did the Grand Theft Auto 5 shortcut, but instead of putting your file explorer, you're gonna pin it to your taskbar, see that? Now you can get rid of this shortcut. Right click, delete, done, okay? We're done. Now. We're going to go through first time rage setup, guys, okay? So pay very close attention because this is where backing up your game version comes in handy and all that. This is where it comes in, guys. Pay attention, okay? Go ahead and open up rage. And it might take a minute. It might take a minute, okay? All right, so this is just the disclaimer telling you about... Um, what rage is and and what it does and telling you to use it at your own risk because it does you know that's why you have to shut your antivirus off because anti the antivirus will pick up this as malicious software okay just like it does lspdfr only thing is it's not but you have to turn your antivirus off in order for it to work because it does pick it up as malicious software okay now with this you're going to click accept okay as you see it's first time initialization now, guys, this message is very critical. Honestly, it is. Rage plugin hook can back up your current game version, so you can revert it, revert to it in case a new version breaks modding functionality. Functionality. This backup will require about 1,180 megabytes of disk storage. Do you wish to back up your game now? Yes, you do. You want to do this because this is where a lot of people had a lot of problems when they didn't back up their game, or they did and they couldn't revert back, but there's a way to do it guys so click yes on this okay so it's now going to back up your game version so now version 1737 of gta 5 is now being backed up so if they happen to update again and put something else online <clears throat> then you know you'll have your backup right here so while that's doing that guys i'm gonna pop me open a mountain dew here and get me a drink because my throat is extremely dry guys i'm so sorry that's a cold one Okay, so we're going to give this just a minute here. <clears throat> All right, guys, now, notice that the last tutorial I did, the last tutorial I did, we had to check that box to keep the uh, Rage plugin hook from showing in the corner of the screen when you play. Well, they took that out, which is a great thing because the Rage plugin hook emblem up here doesn't show in the corner of the screen no more. Okay, so that's a good thing. Now, your console key is F4. We'll get into that in the game, okay? I'll show you guys how to work that in the game. Uh, go to Plugins. Go down to Load These Plugins on Startup. Check LSPD First Response. Then go back up and click Load All Plugins on Startup, okay, guys? Advanced Settings, it's all default. Leave it be, trust me. <laughs> game Settings, guys, okay? Uh, command Line Switches. We're going to click that. You're going to scroll down. Now, I was just having a discussion today with, with somebody in my Discord or on my YouTube one. I can't remember which one it was. But uh, I was asking him if he'd use DirectX 11 because he was having some crashes. Turned out it was just his antivirus was, was turned on. Uh, we were both laughing about it. It was pretty funny. But um, anyway, so here we got DirectX 11, DirectX 10.1, DirectX 10. Now, if you're using these, then, then click the one you're using, okay? So I'm going to click DirectX 11 because that's what I use. I would really recommend downloading this because in your game settings in GTA 5 and LSPFR, it shows DirectX 11 right there in your game settings. It shows it right there. So I would recommend downloading it, downloading this. All right, we're going to scroll on down. You're going to click Force Windowed Mode and Borderless Mode. Okay. Now scroll on down and make sure, like I said before, make sure that ignore different video card is checked okay now usually in the last version they had it was automatically checked you didn't have to worry about it but this one they've unchecked it but i'm gonna check it okay 
and trust me guys I've already tried this out it, it's fine it works just the way I did it okay <clears throat> guys I'm so sorry about my throat all right so you guys got all that checked now here we go we're going to click save and launch and I will see you guys in the game all right ladies and gentlemen so here we are in the game and you should spawn in as Franklin I believe uh, if you spawn in as Trevor or Michael it's the same thing so if you look on your map pull your map up okay right here uh, there's many police stations around the map here that you can go to um, but the easiest way to do this guys really um, the easiest way to do it is you can go like this hit your start button go to LSPDFR click your A button click A again and go to the nearest police station that's the easiest way to do it guys alright but I'm actually going to drive you guys there and show you how this works because that's the easy way to do it. So all you got to do basically is click go to nearest police station. It puts you right inside the police station. But I want to make sure you guys know how to drive there and go into the doors, okay? I know that sounds ridiculous, but I just want to make sure you guys understand every aspect of what we're doing, okay? So we're going to get in the car here. We're going to pull up police station on the map and see where Franklin is. And we're going to find the nearest police station. So that would be it right there, it looks like, I think. Yep. Alright, so we're going to go and... Uh, if you did, uh, if your LSPFR loaded successfully, the, then you should see those police icon badges on the map. Okay, guys? Alright, so... All in good time, guys. We're getting there. We are almost there, guys. I'm going to show you guys in-game how to do this stuff. Now, I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I hope everybody's happy more you want to be in life. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos, guys. The feedback on my videos this just this week alone has been phenomenal, guys and girls. And I cannot thank y'all enough for that. It's been great. I have gotten so many more subscribers just this week alone and views on my videos my tutorials it's been awesome guys i love you guys so much man thank y'all so much for that okay so here we are at the police station all right now i want to make sure i'm going to go in the right door so let me get out of the car um i believe it's down here all right he can't hop that lot he can't hop that wall all right so one of these all right that's the jail and the police station, I believe, is right here. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to walk up. All right, and I'm going to feel stupid. This don't work. You're going to either hit right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard, okay? Hey, dude. Greetings. Okay. Yeah, that's totally not the place to go. It's not letting me. All right. Uh, I'm not sure. what. Maybe it's... Is it over here? Okay, this is not... Now, if it works for you guys, go ahead and go in. But I'm going to do this right here. I'm probably just at the wrong door to be honest, but it's probably upstairs. So what I'm gonna do is do this. I'm gonna go to LSPDFR. At least I drove you guys here, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all enjoy the ride? It was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> go to nearest police station, click A. It's gonna take us inside that one right there. All right, so we are at the nearest police. Yep, it was upstairs, guys. So walk up to these doors, hit right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard, and it's gonna take you into the police station. It was upstairs, my bad. I feel so stupid. All right, then you're going to come inside of the police station, okay? You're going to click A to go on duty. This is kind of the fun part, too. Okay, you need to select a character to use LSPFR. Would you like to go to the character selection menu now? Yes, you want to, so click A for okay. It says consuming coffee. It either says consuming coffee or devouring donuts, one of the two. All right, so it's going to bring you to this right here. And at this point, guys and girls, you can select either female or male. So, in my case, of course, I'm going to select male. Now, you can use your controller for this, your D-pad, or you can use your keyboard, whatever, whichever one you choose. All right, so I'm going to create my character. And I always pick the same dad and the same mom and try to always make my character look exactly the same every time I reinstall LSPFR. So, look, guys, there's Nico. There's Nico from GTA 4. What about that? Looks like him, too, huh? So I always pick this guy. You guys pick whoever you want. It's up to you. I'm just showing you guys how to create your character. So this is your resemblance between the mother and the father. See if you adjust that. See how much more my character looks like the mom. All right. So I need to find the correct mother. Uh, uh, 
if I remember who she is uh let me see here let me see uh, I believe it was her I believe it was her I think it's her but you can adjust your skin tone too. the next one down you can adjust the skin tone right there so I like keep mine just a little tan not too much and then you're gonna hit B for back go to features and I normally guys just set all these to standard so I'm gonna go like this set everything to standard okay and that's it then you're gonna hit back you can you can customize it if you want okay then you're gonna go to appearance and fix your hair and I always pick that right there see now it kinda looks like my guy and then your eyebrows do whatever you want with that I'm gonna leave them the way they are uh, my shave I'm very particular about my shave it's gotta be a beard cuz I, I always have a beard so uh, where's that there we go right there and then if you want zits and skin blemishes and skin aging then be my guest guys right there it all is alright uh, one more thing before we exit out of this make sure that your hair color, your eyebrow color, and your facial color is the same color. You know what I'm saying? You kind of want to match it up. Or mine is like a dark brown, almost a black. Um, I keep mine the same color. So, let's go ahead and hit B to back out of that. Hit save and continue. Now, you're going to name your character here, okay, guys? Make sure it's the name you want, okay? I'm going to put in Leo Justice, so give me just a second because i got to lean over and type it in. Okay, so we now have Leo Justice. After you put your name in, make sure the spelling is correct, okay? Very important you do that. Hit enter on the keyboard. There's your character. You click A to use him or her. Either or. Either one you want. All right. And then, and then we are going to go into the police locker. So click on that and make sure that your agency is on LSPD. Go down to outfit, go over to the cop, and there's your outfit, guys. Now, later on uh, in my other tutorials, I'm going to show you guys how to install EUP. Uh, so any requests for any mod, uh, any kind of, um, not mods, guys, any kind of plugins or callouts you want me to do a tutorial on, hey, guys, leave me a, you know, leave me a comment down there in the, in the, in the comment section and tell me, hey, I need help with this call out. I need help with that call out. I'll be more than happy to throw up a tutorial for you guys or just lead you through it, you know, through uh, my Discord. You guys join my Discord. I'll leave that in link. I'll leave that in the description as well. Um, I've gotten uh, quite a few people in my Discord this week, and I'm really happy about that. So, anyway, guys, um, you can actually um, change your uh, variation here to Officer, um, Officer 3, which you see that puts Marine Stripes on his arms. So... Uh, yeah, I just kind of changed that, but I'll leave mine on just officer. Um, inventory, patrol, patrol stun, that's what type of patrol you want to pick, which it doesn't really make a difference. We're going to go to advanced customization, okay? Now, your components is like your armor and stuff, the standard armor and clothes that comes with LSPFR, which I'm going to be honest, guys, I'm not too crazy about it. It's not that great. Um, there's a few things in there that looks really good, but other than that, it's just... It's kind of not good, <laughs> you know. So let's go to props. And if you want some sunglasses, you're going to go to prop one. Click A. You're going to scroll over to the right until you get the sunglasses you want. And, of course, the aviators is the one I pick. You go to the texture. Scroll over to the right until you get the texture you want on your glasses. And I usually pick that one. So that's what we're going to pick. Hit B to go back. Hit B again. Hit B again. And hit confirm. Now, next, you want to go to the police garage and hit A, okay? That's what we're going to do next. Now we're going to pick our cop car, guys. We're about to get into the action. So, I mean, you can pick any cop car you want. There's a, you know, a few different ones to pick from. Uh, just your standard GTA cop cars for right now. Until we get deeper into tutorials, um, go to components. And this right here will uh, take the lights off the top of the car and make it a slick top. Or you can add the big old-fashioned fat light bar along with the LED light bar on it too, which is what I do. It gives you a little extra bit of lighting until we get EOS installed anyway in Radiance, okay? So go back, hit 
hit modifications. This modifies your car. Hit apply all. It's going to give your car a little extra boost. Hit select and continue. And we're going down the road. Let's go pull some people over. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is when you go on patrol here, um, you know, of course, you guys know how to activate your lights and sirens. If not, it's, uh, for most of you, it's it's left on your thumbstick, okay? I have mine set different, but I'm not going to confuse you on that. Okay, so you're going to hit left on the thumbstick, and there's your sirens right there. You can, you can hold the thumbstick down for different sounds. See that? Where's the other sound at? Hard to find. There it is. All right, so shut them off. Of course, your headlights, y'all know how to turn your headlights and stuff. Okay, now, um, let's drive out here and get our headlights on. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to use the simple trainer. So, there's two ways you can pull up your simple trainer, okay? You can either do it by hitting um, F3 and then use your, your number pad to the far right of your computer. Not the ones across the top, not those numbers, but the ones over... <laughs> Reporting Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to take care of that real quick. Del Perro Freeway. But the number keypad over on your far right, okay? Now, your 2 is going to go down, okay? Your 8 is going to go up, all right? Your 5 is going to select. Your 6 is going to go right. Your 4 is going to go left. See that, guys? So Y'all got that? All right. I hope so. Now, I'm going to exit out. You can hit zero to go back and exit out. Now, on your controller, if you want to pull up the, up the uh, simple trainer, you're going to hold down the right bumper and hit X. Okay? And you can use your D-pad to go up and down. Okay? Now, I want to tell you guys real quick, because I didn't explain it to you earlier, but the reason that we took, we changed the, um, the computer uh, controller key from X to none is because... Let me ask you that. Is because when you're on the game and you need to switch weapons inside the car for some reason, if you hit X and you're switching your weapons like that, you're gonna constantly pull up your complete your your police computer. That's why I changed that. If you need your police computer, all you gotta do is hit Q on the keyboard, and right there it is. See that, guys? All right. Well, I'm sorry. Let's go back. I'm getting off track here. Let's go back to the trainer. So on the controller, R B X. Use your D-pad up and down, left and right to to uh, maneuver around. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. We're going to have time. And the one thing they changed about the trainer was when you change the time, it tells you what time it is on the screen. I'm pretty sure it does. So we're going to hit noon. See it down there? It says noon. 12 o'clock. Then afternoon. There's a time for afternoon. It's all military time. I don't know how to read that stuff. I think that's 1,800 hours. Um, then evening. Then night. You can go ahead one hour. You can go back one hour, and whenever you get whatever you like, um, you can do you can sync the time with your computer. You can do real time duration, and you can freeze the time, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, now I'm going to go back, and we're going to change the weather. Going to go down, and go over to clear, and hit force weather. Click A to enable it. Now, if you want that, if you want that kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? That's X dial that. Hit B to go back, guys. And if you want some extra weapons, you go in here. I mean, y'all know how to do all this right here, right? So we do need to get a taser. I don't have a I don't have a stun gun. Let me get my, my stun gun here. So as a cop, I usually select the stun gun. Um, and then let me get my nightstick, of course. And where is the okay flashlight? Oh, there we had a flashlight. Okay. So we're going to go over to the right with the D-pad on the controller. I'm going to add the pump shotgun. This is what I add for just my basic cop patrols. And then I'm going to add the carbine rifle. Okay. Now here's what you could do with this, guys. Um, go back into your weapons. Sorry about that. Go back in your weapons. If you want to save this particular... Um, if you want to save this particular... Uh, the particular weapon loadout that you have here like this if you want to save it like this and load them every time go up to where it says weapons load save menu right there click a and then select a slot on your save hit a and you've now saved your weapons now when you go back in you load it you're going to go over here to load all weapons in slot one and it loads your weapons see that so you now have your weapons all right now, let's get on patrol. So, 
Citizens report a possible oh 211. At, I'm so sorry, uh, guys. I'm going to show you how to turn your calls off. Station. Respond code 3. Okay, so robbery in progress. That's a uh, 211, I believe. 211 or 311. Um, so I'm going to turn my calls off. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Hold your select button on your controller. Scroll down to police radio. Click A. Go down to available for calls and go over to no. Okay? If you ever want to request a call, it's right there. You click A. Um, to request a records check is right there. That pulls up your police computer. And you can also close down nearby roads. Okay? So let's exit out of that. And then we're going to go pull somebody over. So I always use... Now, the reason I move, remove the A to uh, initiate a traffic stop is because if you get out of your car in the middle of a traffic stop and you've already initiated it, and you hit the A to maybe, like, sprint a little bit to the other car to, you know, go talk with the suspect, you it immediately cancels the traffic stop. So I that's why I changed that to 9. And I think I did. Yes, I believe I did. So we're going to hit... You're going to get behind this car, hit shift. It's going to blip them on the map as a red dot. You're going to turn your lights on. And that's how you know you got them is because you go code 2. You got lights, no siren. And you can hold down your Y. I mean your uh, left trigger. Sorry about that. To make them pull over. Now, they've decided to stop here in the road. Now, being the fact we don't have traffic police, so there's not much we can do about that. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out. Alright, and you can do a, uh, you can actually do a plate check on your police computer from where you're standing. Just hold down your select button, go to police radio, request records check, and you just type in, I believe you can type in the plate number, 26RG, sorry guys, I'm doing this left-handed. Uh, so it'd be 26 Robert George Ocean. One, four, eight. Click enter. I don't know if you can do it. Yep, there it is. Okay, Buffalo uh, registration to register to Daniel Uniton. However you say that. So you exit out of that. You're going to walk to the car. Approach the car. You're going to hit either E on the keyboard or right on the D-pad. You can say hello or you can insult him. What's your problem, buddy? Okay. <laughs> Uh, now, being the fact there's two suspects in the car, they're, it's occupied two times, uh, you can either ask for the driver's ID, or you can get both by clicking everyone, okay? So we're just going to get the driver's ID for right now. And I have a replacement for the Kiflon when he says that. I have a replacement where he actually says you have some ID. And we'll get to that in another tutorial, guys. Many tutorials coming your way, guys. All right, so now... Um, uh, Daniel Uniton so you can do a check on that if you want so same thing hold down the select button police radio records check and you type in Daniel Uniton hit enter okay so his date of birth is 12 13 1991 license valid no active warrants okay so danielle unit to my bad not not daniel i thought maybe daniel was the guy over there and maybe uh his license came back to his name i mean uh, the plate came back to his name my bad oh i'm so confused um okay guys so anyway we're gonna let this person go so you can go like this hit round the d-pad or e on the keyboard uh or actually i'm gonna show you guys how to issue a citation so just say she was speeding okay so I'm going to role play here a little bit, guys. All right, so bear with me. Uh, man, the reason I pulled you over is because you were speeding back there. Uh, so I'm just going to write you a citation for speeding. And you're going to type in the amount that you want her to pay. You click enter. And then your officer will automatically write the ticket. And then you role play again. It says, sign right here. This is not an admission of guilt. It's just saying you'll pay the ticket before the court date or by the court date or go to court and ask the judge for more time on the ticket. Just easy role play, guys. Something simple. You know what I'm saying? You can role play anything. And then when you're done, you hit dismiss. Have a good day. See you later. That's it, guys. Okay. Now, we're going to get into something else here, okay? So, if you want to target a vehicle as a pursuit vehicle, you're going to point your gun at that vehicle and just push up on the D-pad multiple times until it turns red. 
I think I think this uh, I think it's in this one. Is this or is that traffic police? I think that's you know what guys? I think that's traffic police. Sir. Yeah, it is. I'm so sorry, guys. That's traffic police. Or my bad. But that is um, that's pretty much it, guys, right there. Um, and we're going to um, oh, I need to arrest somebody, don't I? I need to do that. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so confused. I'm just I'm in a hurry to get this done for you guys because I got people asking me to do this. So let's go ahead and pull this guy over. Let's blip him. Let's light him up. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually um, search somebody and put them in handcuffs and all that. And I'll show you how to take people down. I remember, just hold that siren button now. If they're not pulling over fast enough for you, he's going to pull right down the middle of the interstate. I knew it. All right, so we're going to get out. I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to order this guy out of the car by gunpoint, okay? So we're going to get a gun out. I'm gonna go like this. You're gonna say, get out of the car. And if he runs, he's gonna get it. I, 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 get on the ground, get on the ground. Did y'all see that on the right hand side of the screen? It said take down. Now he's gonna get on the ground. Just like that. You're gonna walk up to him. Press and hold right to arrest the, deep the suspect, <laughs> Jesus. Or you can hold uh, E on the keyboard, I believe it is. And you put him in cuffs. It pulls him up, just like that, and then you're going to wait a minute and wait for the thing to pop up, and then, uh, okay, let's get behind him here a little better. All right, so hold left on D-pad to frisk the suspect, so this is, you just hold left on D-pad or hold Q on the keyboard, and there's some drugs just fell out right there. Hey, that was a good, that was a good catch, guys, So this guy is definitely going to be under arrest for sure, so th at this time, you're going to say, okay. So you're going to be placed on arrest this time for possession of drugs and possession of contraband. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have to get behind him here because we don't have stopped the pad yet. So it's a little harder this way. A little more difficult. Going to push around the D-pad. And sometimes this happens, guys. Just bear with me. It's, it, we'll get it fixed. Get out, man. Get out. All right, so you might have to yank him out. Sometimes it does this, guys. It's just part of it. Like I said, it's a modern program, and it's just part of it. All right. So you're going to grab him by the arm like this by pushing right on the D-pad or E on your keyboard. Okay, now we got this going somewhere. I'm so sorry about that, guys. That's just, y'all know how LSPFR is. That's the way it is. I got to find room to get through here. All right, so since there's nowhere to take him off the road, I'm going to put him right here. Now, in order to call for transport, um, you push around the D-pad again. Sometimes you got to push around the D-pad several times to let go of him because it doesn't want to pick it up for some reason. Now, in order to call for transport for this guy, or you can take him to jail yourself, it's up to you. You uh, push around the D-pad. He'll get down. I mean, left on the D-pad. I'm sorry. Push left on the D-pad to make him get down. i got to get my thoughts straight, guys. I'm so sorry. You're going to click the right thumbstick. You're going to go to where it says code 3 and go over to transport. I knew he was going to get back up. Get down, man. Get down. All right, guys. Again, right thumbstick. Hit local transport. Click A. We have an officer requiring prisoner transport assistance in Pacific Bluff. And that's it, guys. So a transport will be coming to pick him up. We're going to leave him right there. I'm going to leave my cop car here so that nobody will move. I don't want him to get ran over. So, okay, that looks like, is that his transport right there coming? Is he trying to get this way? I don't know where he is. But anyway, guys, transport will eventually show up. I promise he will. He'll come, and you'll see him pull up. And that's probably the transport right there. Yeah, that is. That's the transport. He's, I have no idea why he barked all the way down there. That's ridiculous. What is he doing? Oh, my goodness. We're going to make this go a little quicker. So, you want to make him get back up? I'm trying to get him back up. Maybe it's not going to let me do it because he's already under arrest. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. Once you got him under arrest, you got transport coming. There comes transport right there. He's going to pick him up, and he'll put him in his car and take him to jail. Or you can put him in the back of your car and take him to jail. All right. And I'm trying to think, guys. I think that's pretty much it on...
I think that's pretty much it on the uh, on the on this part anyway guys I don't think there's anything else I need to show you specifically um, I'm trying to think guys let me think because I don't want to miss anything at all uh, I think that's it guys I think that's pretty much it yeah I showed you how to pull somebody over I showed you how to write a citation I showed you how to oh we'll call out we gotta do a call out so hold your select button on your controller click a on the police radio and turn your calls back on and you can request a call out okay attention all units we have a and to accept the call out you can hit y on the keyboard or left on the d-pad see that now it's going to give me a waypoint to go to the robbery on strawberry so i would say since i'm one out of seven i'd say dispatch one out of seven i'm going to be ten seven which means uh i'm calling out the dispatch telling them uh, my code name and 10-7 just means I'm responding, guys. So, she said respond, respond code 3, so that's what we're going to do. So, I'm having fun doing these videos for you guys. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long to get it up. Uh, I've been working on it quite a bit this morning. Um, I, I've got a family, you know. I, I look after them. They, they, you know, my family. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> So, you know, my family, you know, they come first, guys, and, and I got to take care of them and stuff. But I've been working on this all morning, guys. So I really hope you guys appreciate this video. I did the best I could to explain this to you guys. And, uh, you know, where is this even at? Where is where is this even at? We got to go this way? Yeah, this is it. But you just, I mean, when you get a call out, guys, there's two ways to accept it. Left on the D-pad and Y on the keyboard. Targets are on foot in Strawberry. Okay, so they're on foot. So you got, now at this point, since your timer ran out, you got to keep an eye on where you're going. You got to kind of guess at it. So I'm, I'm taking them down here, but they lost eyes on the suspect. So I'm going to call for air support. Dispatch, send me air support. Attention all units. We have units requesting Move. helicopter support over Little Soul. Uh, so, um, let's see here. Is there anywhere I can turn around? Right here. I can turn around right here. And we're just we're gonna cheat here a little bit. But I'm gonna go up through the uh, backwoods here. We're gonna we're gonna take the scenic route. I'm gonna go up here. So the chopper. If you lose a suspect, the chopper will usually 98% of the time find that suspect. That's what the X on the on the map is. That's a lost suspect, which means they lost eyes on the suspect. Here, See, suspect he found him. Southbound. They find him almost every single time, no doubt about it. So it looks like we got two suspects. Are they on foot? They are on foot. So um, he's not getting in a car. I'm not okay, yeah, dispatch. Suspect is now in a car. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. You get out. Point your gun. All right, I got him. I got him. Got him just in time. Get on the ground, get down, get on the ground right now, get down, get on the ground. Meanwhile, the choppers are chasing the other suspect as well, so it's good, good to have a chopper, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're going to do an arrest again. There we go. I pick him up. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is it. That is pretty much it, guys and girls. I think I've showed you everything. So, see, they lost eyes on the other suspect. So, what, we're gonna, what you would do there, then is you would... Call for another air unit. We have units and the other air unit will go towards them. Over strawberry. See that? So. We are airborne my guy will even grab this guy. It, LSPDFR acts so dumb sometimes. Okay, we got him. We actually got him. I can't believe we got him. So, again, you would bring him over here. Press around the D-pad several times to let go. Uh, you can either search him or tell him to get on the ground. And then, again, you call for uh, transport. Now, and he's going to get right back up. Dude, get on the ground. Right on the thumbstick, guys. Click the right thumbstick. Go to transport. If you don't get on the ground, man, I'm going to tase you. You got to be just right to do it here. It's got to be, you got you to be just right. Get on the ground, man. As soon as it gets down, I'm going to click it. All right. We have transport's an on the way. Now, if you're doing a dirty cop episode, you know what I'm strawberry. saying? You can reach out and kick him a little bit like that. If you're doing a dirty cop episode. <laughs> You know, or you can reach back and knock him out like that, you know. Now, taser, you know, the taser sound, of course. You can tase him a little bit if you want to. It's up to you. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it on uh, just 
flat out plain LSPDFR, uh, no plugins, no call special callouts. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for your love and support, and the feedback this week has been amazing, you guys. I love y'all so much. Discord's in the description. All the mods you need are down there. Everything, guys. I'll even leave um, my beginner tutorial in there if any of y'all want to go back and watch that for, for any reason. But this is the main tutorial everybody wants to watch right now, okay? This is the one you want to look at, okay, guys and girls? I appreciate your love and support. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.